Hi, everyone, and welcome back to The Love You Show. My name is Ashley, and this is my co-host, Andrew, and we teach you the fundamentals about self-love, self-care, and self-acceptance. And today's topic is... We're going to revisit uh, the topic of what's your business and what's none of your business. And uh, before we do... Wait, 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 wait. What's this on top of your head? (laughs) That's what I want to talk about. So one of the joys of working here is that I surround myself with people that are creative. And I come to work and I see beautiful items like this. So as Ashley made this flower crown, talk a little bit about how you made it. Um, So right now I am collaborating with a company that you may know, Michael's Craft Store. And we decided to come up with a project based off of technology, using technology, and pride that is coming up in June. I wanted to create a flower crown, but using paper flowers made from a Cricut machine. These are all paper. All paper. So I've spent some hours wow. cutting, um, having the Cricut machine cut the flowers out and then twisting the paper into this beautiful flower that you see here. And then I gently place everything into a styrofoam crown and um, this was the end result of what Michael told me what they wanted and I was like this is what I want to do a rainbow pride flower crown made out of paper <laughs> I'll do that one more time so you're going to be teaching a class on how to make this yes yeah. So, I'm sorry, Denim is upset in the background because she heard something and she can't go and see it. I will be teaching the class this summer, June 24th, online with Michaels. We're going to have a online class. Are you excited to take the class with us? Uh, Denim's in time out, in case anybody's <laughs> wondering. So, uh, so they'll be able to take this. Yeah, yeah and we'll so talk about this later. You'll be able to take the, cl- yeah. take the class online. Um, I will be posting it more online on my social media. But it's a free class. If you have a Cricut machine at home, you'll be able to follow along how I make this flower crown out of paper. And I see this. And my first thought is we need to sell this online because there's going to be some people who might want to wear this. It's beautiful. Yeah, it or really don't want beautiful. to make it, and yeah. we can make it for them. But So stay tuned. Because yeah. we have them on there now, but they're artificial flowers. Yes, yeah. they are silk flowers, the ones that we do have online right now. Yeah, so you can get to purchase those now. So let's. So this past week has been interesting because um, Tess Holiday came under heat because she hasn't shared her health journey and it seems like all of her fans are upset yeah because um she has a life and she's making choices in support of that life and in support of that health and everybody's got an opinion so i wanted to revisit that we can talk a little bit about what you posted today on facebook Mm -hmm. and what that means to you Mm -hmm. so why don't we tell everybody what we we both posted on facebook Yeah, about how there's two free places that you can stay, and that is in your lane, and it's none of your business. And out of my business. Oh, out of my business. (laughs) Out of my business, yeah. can stay for free. Yes. In your lane, and And out of my my business. business. I love that so much. Because that seems to be like one of the foundational pieces of what Ashley and I talk about, and what has helped Ashley get to a point in her life where she's able to accept herself. Yeah, Yeah. um, definitely. Because being in this community and just talking about the distractions in this office today, we can't even film our YouTube video. Let's listen to this. By the way, I love his ringtone. We all sing along to it. Friday the 14th. I it's tax season. Go. <laughs> um, everybody has an opinion the moment you talk about your body and your weight. And whatever Tess decides to do with her body is her business. And if she wants to talk about it, that's her business. And the comments that people are just posting and trying to defend their their reasoning and it's just 
just stay in your lane. Yeah, because you went through this. I did. I yeah, went through Yeah, and it's th painful to be on her side of people telling her what they think she should do. And I didn't understand this logic that we're talking about. And um, I all I listened to was people's opinions and what I should do or how I should have done this or why I should never have done what I've done. Like, lose weight. And um, it really ate me up in the inside and it drove me into either further depression and not wanting to um just be social with anybody i guess it's just stay in your lane like we i we just don't want to hear the opinions anymore yeah and you know today i told you about have you thought about as the beginning of a of a sentence and have you thought about is a nice way of saying i'm about to tell you something that's my opinion about what you're doing I haven't thought about it. I don't want to think about it. It's none of your business. Yeah. Is what goes, if you feel confident in yourself and you accept yourself and you um, are, are have self-love, you're making your choices in support of your choices. We really don't need validation from other people, right? So that was, um, so whenever thing, something topical comes up, I think it's great if we can address it in the Love You Show because we've covered these principles over yeah. and over again. And I think it's just showing great examples about how what we do, me and you, um, with the knowledge that you've taught me and how certain things don't have the same thought process that it once did for me and to see that the whole thing about tests happening and it being unfold all I could do is just have PTSD of like the moments that I was in that situation talking about my weight and just feeling for her and um yeah I just hope really people could it, that quote of like staying in your lane and out of my business I just hope it really resonates with people um taking that in for themselves and then also you expressing your own opinions to other people. So when would it have been okay for you to comment on Tess? Hmm? When would it have been okay for anybody to comment on what Tess is doing if she had done what? Asked you. Oh like, yeah, so that, like yeah. Uh, exactly. Like I think that that was another point that I was going to bring up. I think the only time that you can give your opinion is when your opinion is asked for. And if Tess would have asked for all of our opinions or asked what we thought of something, then that is when that is necessary. But besides that, none of your business. None of your business. Yeah. And another thing happened to me this week actually that I wanted to start talking to people about, and that's this concept of making mistakes. Yes. So during tax season, I do taxes and I had a client that contacted me because they filed their tax return and they got a letter from the IRS. And the letter from the IRS said, instead of $3,500 you are getting back, you're going to get back $5,500. So this was a letter where they're going to get back more than they thought. Mm -hmm. So when I'm talking to the person on the phone, I'm trying to explain to him exactly what happened. And what happened is this year, the, you get these stimulus payments. So when I do your taxes, I ask, did you get it? Mm -hmm. If you tell me no, you're gonna put. They're, they're gonna give it to you on your tax mm -hmm. return. If you say you got it and you didn't get it, then they're gonna give it to you. So this person told me they got the stimulus, but they didn't. didn't. So the IRS is adjusting their tax return. So when we were hanging up, I went through this <laughs> entire explanation. The gentleman said to me, uh, I still feel bad because I feel like we did something wrong. And I said, you did something wrong. And he said, what? And I said, you told me you got the stimulus, but you didn't. Ah, so can you tell me what you did wrong? Yeah, I told you that I got this. He didn't this. get it? Right, he didn't get it, but he <laughs> told me he got it. Okay. So he's... The thing about making mistakes is this person's upset about a mistake that's a good mistake. Yeah. And the way that we got to start thinking about mistakes, generally speaking, is that they're all good mistakes. Because you didn't make this without making a hundred mistakes. And it's only right through... Right here. <laughs> yeah, it's only through the process of learning, making mistakes... Can we then have an end creation that's here? So life's journey is a journey of mistakes, learning from the mistakes. If you can get to the point where there's no flavor or feeling about the mistakes, it's neither right or wrong. It's just learning. You're again on the path to self-acceptance. So let's recap what we talked about today. Today we talked about the flower crowns, mm -hmm. uh, the paper ones that I'm working on with Michaels. And then we talked about Tess Holiday and her announcing her weight and her eating disorder and how 
none of that is any of our business and for people to just stay in their lane unless someone asks you for your opinion. And then mistakes, nothing's wrong with making mistakes as long as we can learn from those mistakes. Yeah, and you know, we should uh, cultivate mistakes. Uh, That's the only time. I mean, everything I look around here, Ashley, that we have in our studio, including that dress, is nothing but mistakes. Yeah. And then an end result. So I think we're done here today. Perfect. And we will see everybody next week. You want to okay. close it out? Yeah. So thank you again, everyone, for joining us on this Friday for the Love You Show. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. You are what keeps us going every Friday to so make sure we are here. Um, and we cannot wait to catch you next Friday. So till then, we can't wait to see you and have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. You can look at me. Who, oh, me? Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. This is the Grateful Gay. You can find him on Scruff, Tender. Grinder. Grinder. <laughs> farmers Me. Or I should have said Farmers Only. No, it's bothering me. I could do Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. <laughs>